bothers in the minds of the lawyers and the students like their judgments and the paper books which are running into hundreds and thousands of pages so the time is short everybody has 24 hours he has to settle everything then how do we actually go about it how to understand the nitty gritty of that paper book of 500 pages or a judgment how to come up for a crux because the next day that has to be argued and we have to tell the real facts how to come to the main bullet points no it, it you see it all depends again the court where you are court means level of courts i am saying if it is a court of first jurisdiction it is maybe a district court or even if it is high court it is a writ petition before single judge and first time you are arguing of course at that time full liberty is given to argue the entire case it is the first court court of first instance but when it is a second court i mean appellate court division bench again lpa etc is there or if it is third final court like uh, supreme court the uh, you see mechanics of the uh, i mean the the, 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 the games uh, uh, change there uh, there is already a judgment before division bench in lpa there is already or in civil case also it is first appeal or second appeal rsa under section 100 there are already two judgments so therefore of course with these judgments the judgment itself maybe in uh, we don't know it may be 5 10 pages or maybe hundreds of pages and there are uh, other records as well so therefore it is your uh, you have to see and again uh, that comes by experience and everybody knows that and, and there are two stages one is admission stage one is final stage so at admission stage particularly when the time allotted to you to argue the case is very less and the court has to form a view whether to admit the case or not at that stage appeal or slp etc then at that stage it is for you to see what is the point that if, if are two basic points it is easy but then there may be so many points in a case and you may have uh, uh, framed so many questions of law but then you have to see it is which question which hits the nail on the head and it is your that uh, skill to find out that and then uh, say that point in the first instance which may uh, carry the day so that is the which comes uh, over a period of time and all of you know and your senior lawyers can uh, brief you better on this like we judges in say whether it is high court when there are 40 50 cases listed every day for admission or it is Supreme Court, then 40, 50 cases uh, uh, listed every Monday and Friday for admissions. And you have to read these thick files. Not that, let me tell you very frankly, if it is file of 300 or 400 pages, not that we have to read 300 pages of each case. We don't read that. We can't. It would be impossible. But then over a period of time, we acquire that kind of skill that after reading two things, number one, the judgment, which is challenged and number two the uh, this uh, uh, synopsis in the beginning as to what is attack what is the prime attack we come to know whether there is any force in that or not so likewise a lawyer also of course preparation of lawyer has to be much more than that of a judge because we are not to argue the case ultimately we when we read at home and then when the case comes just to save time we read at home otherwise we hear the lawyer and then find out whether there is any because we may have missed something and the lawyer says I, I may have an impression that there is nothing in the case but lawyer may then at that time tell me something which i had missed and i said yeah yeah this is a point which is worth consideration but likewise the since the lawyers tell this to the court it is for the lawyers to acquire these skills as to what is that point which needs to be hammered in the beginning and yes when it comes to final arguments you have at leisure you can develop your argument on each aspects but according to me what i would say that one should before going to the court mentally not only mentally even on paper should structure his case or her case that this is the judgment on these grounds i am attacking these are the propositions a b c d and on these proposition these are the judgments so on proposition a i'll state these facts which are there relevant either pick up from my documents or from the judgment 
and then i'll say how the judge has gone wrong and these are the judgments or i have to defend the judgment then task is little easier so these are the aspects which have to be kept in mind so after hearing you i am reminded uh, i will just quote in hindi in mahabharat they asked bhim bhim andhera hai aur tu roti kaise kha raha hai to he said abhyas arjun abhyas so <laughs> according to you it is only that we have to practice and practice practice the more we practice the more it better becomes and another point well taken from you is uh, as you have said that the greatness of great men is not achieved in sudden flight but it is achieved while others were sleeping uh, the other he was working day and night 